Hey everyone, I'm Ryan there Goherent, and today I'm asking you for your very best Bob decks or even just generic Bob advice because the deck I've been playing the Wonderland fan campaign, it's been a disaster, man. Abandoned ship. There's a thing we allow at my table, it very rarely comes up. You'll see my next deck upgrade has the correct amount of required experience, but it's just a completely different deck. We've had to go through some hoops because I completely bailed on basically being Bob. You know what? Screw items. All the items in my deck felt terrible all the time. This deck never felt like it was doing its job. Originally, I wanted to do cool Joey the Rat combos with Eon Chart, and then I quickly discovered that I was just investigating at four with Eon Chart after the taboo because I can't use lockpicks with it. And it's just a mess. And my experience with Bob is that he absolutely can be a great character in certain team comps and certain roles. Specifically, when you have that three-man party with the hyper-efficient fighter and the main Kluver as the utility secondary Kluver, Bob Jenkins fits that role to an absolute T. However, if you're expected to be the main Kluver, like you would be in basically every other team composition, your ability doesn't give you very much. It gives you like four or five actions to yourself. It tricks you into trying to help other people who matter less than you because you're the main Kluver. And on the whole, you just don't have access to very much action compression. And yes, you absolutely can build higher action compression decks. This is a great example of that. But now I feel like the fact that I'm Bob isn't helpful at all. Like, I have shrewd dealings in this deck because it's my signature card. It seems so cool. And you know what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to commit it for three book. Except I'm not because I have Gios. So um, it's going to get overdrawn eventually, I hope. I might not draw enough cards to overdraw it, though. Bob is the first character in a while where no matter what I do with them, I don't know what I'm supposed to do to make the deck better. It always feels bad. I have been a functional main Kluver. I have done my job. If it weren't for an incredibly good Patrice Flex as our third wheel, though, we would not have been getting full victory on the scenarios we were playing. And as I look at Bob, I just getting this book up to a usable number is so hard. I know you can investigate with lockpicks, but I don't care that you can investigate with lockpicks. That's not main Kluver shit. That's flex. That's not doing enough to carry your weight. Here is a fin deck that I view as being your main fighter or an aggressively fight tilted flex. It has four book. Same as Bob. Gets boosted to six with Black Van and Gios. Same as a Bob might. It has lockpicks, same as Bob. I don't consider this a Kluver in any capacity. If all you're doing is investigating like once a turn with lockpicks, and the rest of the time you're like, dude, I got four book, I can't investigate a four shroud location. It's misery. And in red zero, green one to five, I have such a hard time boosting my book. Even stuff like the black fan and Gios, and then relying on other things to get through high shroud locations, it feels like at low levels, at low experience, that deck still is just awful. There's an incredibly high experience bar to get in. It feels like the more I interact with anything involving items, the more I play into the fact that I'm Bob, the worse the deck gets. Sort of like what happens with Dexter, except way more severe, because Dexter's stat line and ability are much better than Bob's, generally speaking. And of course, I've searched for Bob Jenkins decks by number of likes, and I've like went through all of them. And in every single deck, I come to like largely the same conclusion of looking at the deck and being like, all right. I feel as though this deck isn't actually performing very well. And this is usually my experience when I go to Arkham DB and I look through decks, as I'll find cool ideas, but no matter what deck I'm looking at, it's like, all right, cool. We have an 18 Derringer and Bob. I feel like I can already stop looking at the deck list because the fact that he's shooting somebody already means this is fundamentally a different deck role and just like entirely. But in addition to that, all of the decks will have stuff like that where it feels as though like two packs deck guide. This is a goal where a new player with limited cards can get to the point I was complaining about being at. And when you're a new player, that point feels like a triumph, that you're keeping pace with the game. But I'm not a new player anymore. I'm trying to build a really competent Bob deck. And instead, every time I look at Bob decks, like we're running Gravedigger Shovel and what I'm trying to make is a main Kluver. And if you want to tell me he's a flex character and he's better that way, I'm all ears. But I look at these decks, and I'm like, all right, so you run Gravedigger Shovel. How do you actually hit people, though? Like you're just swinging at five for one. Is that the plan? That's not flex fighting. Why is this in the list? And I don't mean to like just be roasting people on ArkMDB. That's that's not the point. The point is I will go through the, all of these decks I already have, look at them, try to find ideas. And consistently I look at them and I think, yeah, this is just as problematic, if not more so than the build I'm currently looking at. The Eon Chart nerf makes me so sad because it's basically just a Bob nerf, right? Everyone else, like all the seekers that were considering Eon Chart, they just investigate it like eight book. It's only stopping Bob from using lockpicks or like getting plus one from a lantern. It's so unnecessary and mean to Bob. I don't know, man. The point of this rambling video is that I'm trying to make Bob work. But when we played Bloodborne Alpha Test, our Bob player said that he had a terrible time. And after two scenarios, we mulliganed the campaign and he switched over to Joe. I'm currently halfway through Wonderland. 
I've had to mulligan my deck because I already know that what I've been doing is bad and it's not getting better. So let's go see if another deck will do it rather than playing an entire second Bob campaign. Coming over to my tier list, which has changed a lot since we saw it last with a broken tier and a D tier now. The meanings are still largely the same. I've killed A+, plus, and by which I mean I've renamed A+, plus to A, and A to B. But generally speaking, Bob used to be around here somewhere. He's fallen quite a lot in light of the two most recent campaigns. Because before this campaign, I had seen so many people talking so well about Bob. And when I looked up, I was like, yeah, he's got four book. He can be a kluver. He's got interesting things unique to him. But much like Monterey Jack, I start trying to build a deck that actually finds clues. And I'm like, holy shit, he doesn't do it. It just isn't happening. And there's an argument. For the same reason I think Mateo and Mary are decent characters because of Bless Energies, that third wheel, that specific team comp that Bob wants to be in, where he's the secondary kluver, he's still not flex fighting, he's providing other utility. That that team comp means Bob should place much higher, somewhere in B tier probably. But right now, I am so down on Bob. It is such a catastrophic loss of confidence in Bob that I've just changed my video schedule to ask for help. I'm pre recorded through March 3rd right now. I say this on February 4th. Everything's uploaded. I'm done for a month. I'm taking a vacation. But I'm recording this and changing my video schedule so that I can give out a cry for help. Someone help me play Bob. Because I don't get it, man. It's not working. Anyways, I've been rather incoherent and any help would be greatly appreciated. Less Bob rot forever in the C tier of my list.